Okay, so you all know that I've been getting demonetized recently based on all my Vic Mignogna content, as well as a lot of other I Stand With Vic YouTubers. So my friend and I, Origami, we were wondering if a corporation like Funimation has something to do with it. Introduce yourself, man. What's up, everybody? It's Origami. You may know me as one of the members of the Couch Crows podcast. Uh, I'm here today with my good friend Deep Humor talking about what I think is a tinfoil conspiracy theory that I just came up with out of nowhere. So It's not, dude. It's very plausible. So Origami's made some tweets that I'm showing you guys right here where he's basically saying that if Funimation was cunning enough to remove Vic Mignogna's name off the credits of some of the movies that he's voice acted in, What's to say that they couldn't have done something and tampered with YouTube and told them, hey, there's a bunch of YouTubers like Hero Hey, Yellow Flash, whatever. They're making these videos and they're basically saying a bunch of crap about us. Can you guys like take care of them a little bit? And you might think that that's a little bit far-fetched, but no, it's not. Because if you guys remember this Gillette situation that happened a few months ago, it was like Gillette made this feminist ad where they were just trashing men and showing men interrupting women in videos and stuff. And... They were botting likes on their video and removing dislikes. So what do you think about that? No, I think it's highly plausible because the route YouTube is taking, it's kind of pandering to like their partnerships and it's pandering to a higher source of media. And the theory I had with Funimation is they offer their services and, you know, movies that, to buy. So they are profiting both them and YouTube at the same time. On top of that, Funimation has a very large channel. It's Funimation Entertainment on YouTube. They have 2 million subscribers. So, and they offer a lot of content on there. So there, I would assume if they complained about people making videos about Vic Mignogna, who Funimation is currently in a lawsuit with, and bashing Funimation in their services, Funimation could just call them up and be like, hey, can you do something with this? And anyone using a hashtag or something can be monitored by the algorithm. Just demonetize right then and there. Exactly. And even with their big channel and the services that they provide, like you said, Funimation also advertises on YouTube as well. Like if you watch anime related content and their stuff is monetized, you'll get a Funimation ad every now and then of some anime that they're dubbing, you know? Exactly. And with Gillette, so like with their feminist ad, I ha I took screenshots of this myself while it was going on and they were botting so many likes on their video. I, I guess that's hard to prove, right? You could just be like, oh, if, if some of you people are skeptical, you'll be like, oh no, maybe a bunch of people just liked it at that same time. Well, how about removing dislikes? They were removing dislikes because I was looking at the video and I was taking screenshots of when it was at 676,000 dislikes and it magically would turn into like 400,000. So are you going to tell me that 200,000 people were like, you know what? This ad is fucking awesome. I was wrong. And then they disliked they. <laughs> went to like it or they undisliked it, you know? It doesn't make any sense. And another good point, I'm glad that the United States trends is on my side because Nike is trending right now, and when they made their controversial ads, they did the same thing. No, absolutely. And it's nothing too far-fetched because the like bar going up is definitely, it can be a sign of botting, but it's not always proven, but the dislike bar going down, that's a huge red flag right there. Exactly. And Funimation, like you said, is a company and YouTube is pandering to the companies, their advertisers and everyone who provides services for them. Like you said in our private conversation, they, they have YouTube TV for God's sakes. They're obviously trying to get as mainstream as they possibly can. And if you look at the trending page, it's not even content from like YouTubers. It's like these huge corporations like GQ or whatever. It's like content that actually isn't getting that many views, but they're put on trending anyways because the channel, the corporation of the channel calls up someone on YouTube and says, yo, can you put my video up on trending? That's how it works, guys. That's really how it works. You will literally nice. see videos with like 200,000 views in like 20 hours, which is like nothing compared to other YouTubers, like number three on trending. It's bullcrap. Yeah, absolutely. You know, because at the end of the day, YouTube is going to look out for the mainstream sources that they have, like CNN, Funimation, ESPN, whatever. Um, that's what they're trying to go towards now. It, at the end of the day, everyone, it's a business, you know? They're, they will choose their partners. They will choose the media over its creators, which built this site, which is a shame. But yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. You got any other thoughts? It's it pretty much in a nutshell. That's everything there is to it. Um, I can't prove it, but I, I highly suspect that Funimation is behind the demonetization of I Stand With Vic videos. But yeah. don't quote me on that, everybody. Uh, 
Thanks again for having me on, Deep Humor. Appreciate it, man. No problem, man. Make sure you guys go follow Origami at Aura underscore Gami. But uh, remember, guys, this is just a theory, a game theory. All right, you know what? I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, demonetized. <laughs> this, is just a, this is just a theory. We're not saying this is 100% fact. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Like I said, go follow Origami. And yeah, see you guys later.